In Onshape, you can create a bill of materials and then place it on a drawing and then include callouts or balloons to the different objects in your model. Let's take a look at how to do that. Here I am in an assembly model. Let's start off by creating our new drawing. I'm going to right click on the engine assembly in the tab and right from here I can choose to create a drawing of the engine assembly. Here I have the dialog box that allows me to see what templates I've recently used. I'm going to show the on shape templates. Let me choose the ANSI ones. And let's say for this assembly, I want to use my C size with inches. And I'm going to have it place four views on the drawing for me automatically. I'll click OK. And my drawing is started out. This is good. Let me, I'm going to put my bill of materials down over here. So let me just grab some of these views and then move them up. And you'll see that it drags the child views along with them. And let me just make sure I'm just dragging this one view over here. And what's interesting, you'll notice that the parent view adjusted with the movement of the child view. That's a little difference between Onshape and Creo Parametric. To place my bill of materials onto the drawing, you can use this icon to insert the bomb, but you're better off making sure your bill of materials is set up correctly in the assembly first and then placing it. So let's go back to the engine assembly. From the flyout on the right, we can display the bomb table. And right now I am showing a flattened bomb. From the drop down list, I can change this to a structured bomb. And so now you'll see that under the crank assembly, I've got item numbers 5.1 and 5.2 underneath there. And I've got three different columns, one for the item number, one for the name, and another for the quantity. I'm going to add in a few more columns in here. From the drop down list, we can choose to add a column. And I want a column for the part number and also for the material. So let's again resize this over here. And I want the part number to be over to the left so I can select the column and then right click and choose move left. And let's do that one more time. Uh, same thing for the material. Let's say I want the material to be one over to the left. Alternatively, I could have grabbed the quantity column and moved it to the right. And let's go and resize some of these other ones over here. And I can resize them later on in the drawing as well. So now I have my bill of materials set up the way that I want to use it onto the drawing. Let's click on the drawing tab and insert the bomb using the icon. And let's place it over here. Let's hit the update from the workspace button. And that way now it is showing the same way that I had it set up. Uh, let's see, let's go and change the width of some of these different columns in here just to make them single line. There we go, that looks good. If I select the table and then right click on it, I can go to bomb table properties. And here you can see that we can change it on the drawing too, change it from flattened to structured top level or structured multi level. And right now the order is going from top to bottom. Let's say I want to place it in the lower right hand corner. In this case, I might want it going from bottom to top. And you'll notice that one of the circles on the corners is in black because that is the fixed corner. I'm going to change the fixed corner to the lower right hand corner. And you can see that we get the black dot over there. And let's now grab the table. Oh, wait, let's hit the check mark. And now I can grab the table and drag it and let it snap right in there. So that's a nice little function, how it snaps in there. So now I've got my bill of materials located on the drawing. If I want to create some different balloons in here, or callouts, we'll click on the callout icon. And here you have the setup for the callout. And right now it is 
just going to show the table item number, this first left-hand column here inside of a circle. You can also specify the number of characters. And there are actually five other different fields that would be around the circle where you can have additional information placed. So for example, let's say I wanted to have the quantity in there as well. I can click in the cell where I want that to appear. And then from the drop down list, I can choose one of the different objects in here, like the quantity. If I go to the other drop down, this will give me additional properties from the model itself as opposed to properties from the table. So now that I have that, if I want to have a balloon in here, let's select with the left mouse button where we want it attached on here. And then drag it out. And that's good for that one. And then let's see, let's say I want to put one over on here. And then drag it out. And so there you can see the report numbers with the individual objects. Uh, let's see what else do I want. Let's grab that one and drag it out over here. And then we can hit the check mark. And that way we have our balloons placed, or excuse me, I want to make sure I'm using the on shape terminology. There I have my callouts placed on the drawing for my bill of materials configured the way that I want it to appear. I hope you enjoyed this video. For more information, please visit www.creolewindchill.com. If you learned something from this video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you like this video, please click the subscribe button to be informed when new videos are uploaded. Thank you very much.